Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host Wally and today we are on the Texas Tropical Trail doing a review of everything there is to do in the area known as the Valley of Texas. Now here's uh, Lomita Chapel, great historic place and now we are at the Sal del Rey which is another historic place, great place to go and hike and get in some nice salt flat action and some birds so if you're in the area definitely check it out it's just north of Edinburgh but I guess we got to talk about why they call it the valley they call it the valley because they wanted to attract people and the planes just didn't sound that exciting so they called it the valley after the Rio Grande Valley which is really not that much of a valley and people came and people loved it and I guess they stayed here so now it's grown and it's actually gotten to be a pretty nice place. There's plenty of parks like this Edinburgh Scenic Wetlands where you can see some of the pelicans and all those animals just enjoying life like these doves and feeling safe. So I'm glad they have all these world birding sites here in the area. There's more than birding sites though. There's also the South Texas History Museum which houses a cool collection of all this South Texas art that is amazing. South Texas history and South Texas artifacts. Plus the building itself is pretty cool. And you can dress up as a conquistador and those guys are tiny if that is the real actual thing. And there's another favorite place of mine to start, stop at is the Basilica de San Juan del Valle. And this shrine here is well attended by people. People love coming here. There is a Virgen itself that she gets a clothing change every now and then. Plus there's plenty to see and do while you're here. You can take a look at the relics room and the other saints rooms, which is pretty cool. Plus this mural that is pretty famous. Right next to it is a Gelman Stained Glass Museum. You should definitely stop here. This place has preserved some awesome stained glass and rain or shine. Since there are behind some lead lights, you can see it like if it's shining in the midday sun, no matter what time it is. It's awesome. It feels holy inside. It feels amazing. Go and check it out. Not many people know that it's there. While you're here in McAllen, you can check out the Quinta Mazatlan, which is an old little hacienda that they have. They have events there. You can walk around the ground, see what it was like to live back then in the old hacienda system. Plus this really cool folk art room, which is amazing. I want to live in this little folk art room. Like I said, they have events there throughout the year. You can go there and enjoy life. Plus they also have a little hiking trail. And once you take the hiking trail, you can learn a lot more about different animals that live in the area. Just south of that, they have the Hidalgo Pump House. You can go there, check it out learn about irrigation and how it works in the South Texas Valley. It pumps water to the different places. And we have the world's largest killer bee, which is amazing. This is where the killer bees made their entry in their invasion of the United States. South Texas is full of wildlife refuges. This is the Santa Ana one. And there's a pretty cool little bridge that you can take. You can see some of the areas and how they all grow. You can see some of the trees, some of the land, some of the woods. I myself like this dangling moss that makes it pretty cool. And then you can go to the other parks where I got to ride a bike and it hurt my butt. But I got to see some awesome bird specimens and make sure you're hydrate while you're there. And I got to climb up this boardwalk to look for hawks which are really far away, but it was still kind of cool seeing them circling high up above in the trees. And I got to see a javelina. Cute little javelina, I want to cuddle with it. Plus more birds. Look at those orioles and green jays. Birds were everywhere, plus there was a pretty cool exhibit on birds. So it's always a must if you're here. Ride a bike, it'll help you get to places faster. Plus grasses, I love grasses. Estero Llano Grande State Park was my last stop, which is a pretty cool place to see some ducks. And you see a lot of ducks, a lot of amazing 
birds. You get to see the levee right along the Rio Grande and get to do some hiking on the boardwalks. So definitely the valley is an up and coming place for you to travel, for birds, history, and many other things. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.